hello welcome um our today's tutorial um it's the continuation of the stream part so what i really want you to understand now is that um the string can be indexed like the way we did in list so if you manage to watch my previous video on list slicing so you will get to understand how we can um do slicing on the strings also and moreover that um strings also can have some index meaning the characters of the string can be indexed so this is a simple example that i want you to understand so remember when you are doing indexing in python um it starts from um zero to n minus one so let's say um we have this um uh, string which is my string the my string is equals to lesotho ke na ha e rate hang ha holo ke mo re hlahetseng lesotho ke na ha e rate hang ha holo ke mo re hlahetseng so this is my sentence so you see it has been uh mixed up so what i want you to understand so it simple means that um lesotho is a beautiful country and that's where i was born so if you want to know which country i come from i come from lesotho which is the mountain kingdom of lesotho so it's a complete landlocked country um which completely landlocked country which is surrounded that's it's landlocked by south africa so most of the people they think Lesotho is part of South Africa just because it's completely landlocked. But Lesotho is a country on its own. We have our own currency, we have our own language, we have our own government, we have everything on our own. So we are an independent country. So from now onwards, you have to go to your map and check where is Lesotho. So let's just um, show how the stream works. So the first line, which is here, print the first letter um which is my string um at index zero so at index zero it's here so index zero index one index one so when we run this it's going to print the first letter is l which is the capital l then we have the second sentence print the last letter is so you know with indexing when you say negative it means you are talking about the last um element in the list so this is um so this is the last element in our string so which is we use negative one to do that so the last element in our string is is g so that's why g is being printed here so print the second to the last letter so it means if you want to print the second letter from the last we use negative two so that's why we are printing n so the first five characters are l -S -O -T. so which means the first characters so from index zero to index five so here you have to understand that it doesn't include um the last index so let's say we are starting from zero up to five so definitely is going to start from index zero one two three four which are five um let us let so talk so we can also use um this double col colons minus to reverse um our string so it means lay so to has been reversed um so you remember the reversing part it mostly works in those things palitron if you remember very well so this is how simply that we can um manipulate we can work on strings we can reverse the string we can show the position of the letter of a string um that's that's it so thank you very much for watching um this tutorial see you in the next tutorial hello welcome so 
we have our strings part two so we are still continuing the strings so this is the continuation of the last tutorial whereby we were um, um, trying to explain how we can manipulate the string like slicing showing the position of letters stuff like those ones so now we are going to count the occurrence of um, the occurrence of um, um, different letters in our string so let's check the first letter let's check O so we are using the um, uh, my string dot count the count function to count the number of uh, that letter in this string so let's see how many times how many seven times let's check a a six times let's check um, L capital L it's one times so we can also my underscore string we can also find the specific first occurrence of a certain letter through the use of find function which is a so we want to check where we can where is our first occurrence of a so our first occurrence of a is at position my 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 i always make this mistake sorry as at position 10 so you count 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it occurs at 10th um, index so let's add more letter then we have to replace so let's say we want to replace l with bar so two with b l with b so what we are going to do we are going to say my underscore string then dot replace now you have to know this function start replace so this one we are going to say um we want to replace l with b l with b place l with b run then you can see that now it's no longer um less so to it's bare so to so that's how simple is it so let's say l e with b a so that it can make sense so now you can see bar so to has been less so to has been replaced with bar so to so this is how simple we can perform that so let's say you see this bar so to is an uppercase it's it's low mixed it's both the uppercase and the lowercase so let's say you want to put it to be all bar so to should be the uppercase so we can just say uh, or oh, the whole the whole string should be the uppercase let's say the whole string we want the whole string to be the uppercase so we can just simply say my underscore underscore string underscore string um dot upper dot upper my underscore string dot upper now you can see all the characters are the upper cases so if you want to make them lower cases you just say my string dot lower it will convert them to all of them to be in lower cases so this is how simple you can use the um, different functions which are the inbuilt function inside the stream so thank you very much for watching this tutorial see you in the next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe for more enticing videos thank you